Greetings and welcome back to another Metal Gear Solid 5 FOB event guide. The FOB event for the next two weeks is going to be the infamous Bound Dragons FOB event. That's going to last until the 11th of June. The mission tasks are as follows. Neutralize three security guards, eventually neutralizing nine security guards total. Fulton three security guards. Shoot the weak point of a UAV at a range of 60 meters or more. Infiltrate successfully. Infiltrate successfully with no kills and no alerts. Infiltrate with a staff member of, with a rank bonus of 1.01 .01 or higher. And infiltrate within 480 seconds or 8 minutes. Now all we're going to really need for this mission is the Wind Ruger Grade 1 pistol. We're going to put an extended magazine on there. We're also going to go ahead and attach the best suppressor you have available, in my case the Grade 3. And we're also going to make it match our camouflage. We're probably not going to use this. Uh, it's only useful for getting cards turned around or looking somewhere that we aren't. Uh, same with the cheap assault rifle as usual. It's not going to be used. But what we are going to get some mileage out of is the Grade 5 Bambi Top SV Sniper Rifle. We're going to attach a better barrel on that, the best you have. We're also going to go ahead and attach the 75 rounder drum magazine on there. The stock is just fine. The muzzle is just fine. We're going to go ahead and put the grade 3 suppressor on there, or again, the best suppressor you have available to you. We're going to go ahead and put the RF scope 2 to 8 times zoom on there. I'm going to attach a flashlight, because I can. Uh, the laser sight's fine, the underbarrel's fine, and as usual, I'm going to make it match my camouflage. And again, you do not need to do this. Now today we're going to be infiltrating the support platform, and we're going to be dropping in, not at the default location, but at this location, the one furthest to the left. That's going to be important for this run. Now we're going to bring along that nice cheap assault rifle, the Grade 5 Bambatov SV, that Grade 1 Wind Ruger Silent Pistol we customized, although like I said, we're probably not going to use it. We're also going to bring along magazines, Grade 5 Sleep Grenades, and Grade 4 Smoke Grenades. We're also going to bring along Grade 4 Noctocyanin, and our trusty night vision goggles, though I don't believe we're going to be using them today. And we're also going to bring our weakest, cheapest wormhole Fultons. Also, it's important to remember we're going to be needing a camouflage with metal or concrete surfaces in the description. And we're going to need to place a staff member with a staff rank bonus of 1.01 .01 or higher. So Flaming Buffalo works perfect for this. And as usual, drop in at night. As usual, run, run, run up the double sets of stairs, take a dive at the top. Now uh, just continue crawling your way off this platform, and uh, if you do it right, you shouldn't be spotted. Not really many guards out today, so um, I'll take the moment to mention that later on in this, I make a few really big mistakes, and I will definitely point them out. But instead of re-recording, instead of taking the time to, to do a real perfect run that, you know, makes it look like I'm just some sort of flawless expert at the game, I'm going to leave this in just to show you that you can have some pretty big mistakes and um, it's possible that uh, you can come back from them. Even one that I thought I wasn't going to be able to save this, one, this run, uh, having committed, I, I, I still came back from it. So we're going to throw some distraction magazines here. We're going to keep an eye on this guy. He's going to cause some trouble, I'm pretty sure. And we're just going to sort of crawl where people aren't. You know, we got Noctosign in. We can see where people are, more or less. 
I'm deciding, do I want to go engage him, get him out of the picture, or do I just want to go... Yeah, forget it. I'm just going to go kind of right through this area here. And uh, we should be able to do this cleanly. I decided to, to be a little impatient and kind of go through this area. It um, doesn't end up costing me, but that guy does soft spot me. And I know he's going to come over here, so we kind of got to we gotta, we gotta get, uh, get a move on here. So I'm just going to roll on out of the way. And once I think I'm far enough, I stop. And uh, yeah, there we go. Now, the UAVs on this map go in and out of this big old structure here. Like, you see the one I tagged? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay focused on it and see it bloop, goes right behind it. And uh, they're, they're kind of a pain. They'll do that. They make them really, really hard to shoot. Um, there's the other one. Now, I decide to be sort of a, you know, try to, try to be a bit of a hot shot here and get this one. Uh, fortunately, it just gets right out of my line of sight. I was setting up for it, and I still decide to go for it once it stops moving. And it's going to take a little bit to stop moving, but I do get a little impatient on it. And uh, as you will see, this, this does cost me. See, I end up just giving it a tap, and I, I guess I didn't hit it where I should have. Then I get kind of fed up and start trying to trying to get it from this range. I think trying to get it from this range, just period, was a mistake. So it exploded. Everybody heard it. Everybody from uh, this platform and the next platform are, are going to start checking it out. So I'm going to try to get these guys distracted with a magazine, try to get them to clump up a bit. And uh, we're going to start going to work a little bit here because it's a little bit harder to get guys on the last platform given all of its nooks and crannies. So we're going to go ahead and pop a couple of uh, sleep grenades. And we got another guy over there. And he's going to be trouble. And that guy and two guys in the distance. Let's give them one more, and oh, oh, looks like he's got a friend, so let's give them one. So given that the situation with them is more or less in hand, I decided to go after this guy, and wouldn't you know it, it doesn't work again. So I've got one more shot to make this work. I've got one more shot to make this right, and lo and behold, I managed to get it. So hey, good for me. One, uh, one less problem to worry about. So now that I've got all these guys taken care of, I'm going to start Fultoning a few, few of them just to get the Fultons out of the way. Remember, we got to do three of them. I'm also going to Sleep Gas Grenade this guy just to get him out of the picture. Alright, so that is all three of our Fultons. Now, I'm going to try to get this guy with a uh, smoke grenade, and uh, remember when I talked about messing up? This is definitely going to be a mess up here. I didn't anticipate that he was going to start running towards me, and I thought I was going to have enough time to smoke grenade him again, but I accidentally stood up, and I thought my goose was cooked here. But I just kept shooting him as I approached with the Bambitov, and it's not killing him, because I don't think this gun has the, uh, has the ability to punch through that much armor. But it keeps him distracted, and yeah, that was that was quite a hail mary play right there. I I had no uh, no faith that that was actually going to work, but it did somehow. So yeah, you know, learn from my mistakes. <laughs> Be more patient first off, but you know, if if you have the chance to pull off something crazy like that, go for it. So I'm going to throw some sleep grenades up here. I should take care of him and maybe one other guy. And I'm going to throw one in the hole here because you can get that on the ground floor and you can usually get a guy or two from there. They've got surprisingly far range. Now, we're really not going to be focused on downing people here. We're just going to want to kind of sneak in because uh, usually the, the little drop down to where the actual end of the FOB B is is quite unguarded. So we're going to down the rest of our Nocto. Gonna go ahead and smoke grenade this guy. And while he's choking, we're gonna go ahead, give him a toss. 
And with our last sleep grenade, we're gonna kind of, kind of. Well, let's get our night vision on first. With our last sleep grenade, we're gonna go ahead and kind of get it out of distance again. These things got a pretty crazy range on them. And while everyone's focused on that, either going down or looking at the smoke, we're just gonna crawl right over here. And uh, that little area is the end of the FOB, or at least the beginning of the end of the FOB. And um, you know, with night vision goggles on and with uh, Nocto still active, eh, it doesn't look like there's anyone home. So that's fine. We're just going to go ahead and uh, just take a leisurely stroll right to the end of the FOB. And once there, we're just going to walk right out the door. So that's the Bound Dragons FOB event. Any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down in the comment section. Please do throw me a like and a subscribe if you haven't already. And do click the notification bell. Thank you very much for watching the video as always. And until next time, have a good one.